Hi there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to install WordPress with MEM in macOS Mavericks. So the first step is we're going to look for MEM website and it should be there. We click on that link and you see that now we have um, two alternatives. You can free download or buy now. So in this tutorial, I'm going to download the free version and hit save file. So after you done download it, it should be in your download folder. Here you can see I have mempro.zip and I want to open it with my um, archive utility. So just double click it and it will open archive utility. And you can see now I have a .pkg file. Double click that and it will run the installer. And I hit continue and continue and continue. Agree. And here, don't forget to customize. And here you can choose to install both of them or just choose the free MEM or maybe you want to buy the MEM Pro. So in this case, I untick MEM Pro because I just want to use the MEM free version and then hit install. And enter your password. So now we are done with the installation and please uh, hit close button and then move that both files to the drive because we don't need it anymore. So now uh, we can find that in our launch pad and here you see mem. Just click on that and here I don't want to check for mem pro when I'm starting mem so I'm just going to tick that and launch mem. Here you can see the preferences button. Click on that and the most important is you go to Apache because here you can choose uh, where the folder where you want to work with and in this case by default it is inside application and mem and htdocs you can also uh, create another folder and hit select and navigate to that folder but for this video i'm going to choose default and then in the start and stop tab we're going to uh, look for the start page url which which is fine by this and go to start service when starting mem or stop service when quitting mem so i'm going to leave it by default and hit ok so now i'm going to start service and as you can see when it's green it's um, right direct you to the mem localhost site and here you can see you have a uh, information which is host is localhost and user and the password so far. So now the next step is we're going to install WordPress. So click on, uh, I mean type in WordPress in your Google search and it should be WordPress download. And download WordPress and here click OK. And here you should download it and when you done you can hit downloads in your downloads um, folder and here you can see there was there must be WordPress 3.8 and there it is and here we're going to um, copy and then go to application and as you can remember it was in a mem which is it and then htdocs right in this folder it's still empty and we can just paste the wordpress.zip file and we open it with uh, archive utility we, you see now we have that WordPress folder. We're just going to throw this zip file since we don't need it and then rename this WordPress as um, your site. For example, now I'm going to rename it as blog web 6 local because uh, only me who can access this web website. So I'm just blog web 6 local. Okay, so now I'm going to, minimal, to minimize this window so the next step is we're going to um, our site. How we type it? Uh, as you can see now, we are in MEM website. So I'm going to delete the, this MEM um, path and then going to uh, replace it with our WordPress folder, which is called blog web 6 local area, right? If you remember, and then I hit enter. And now you see that we need to create a configuration file. So we just click it and we will be asked to enter database name 
and database username and so forth but we haven't create database name uh, yet so we go back to our mem so just copy this and open the, in the new tab and and then go to mem path which uh, is case sensitive so be sure you typing um, big letters or capital letters over there and then hit enter and you see that we see now PHP my admin so we click on that just to create database as then here you click on databases and here you uh, you still don't find the database that we want to use so I'm going to create new database here web 6 local DB and hit create and uh, it should be there you see and now uh, as you can remember if I go to uh, start you see that we have user root and password root so we are going just to use that by default we go back to our WordPress setup installation and then here hit let's go and the database name you remember it was it was quite long name so you see this one copy that and database name and username was root remember and password root and localhost we leave it by default the database host and table prefix get used to always use um, difficult prefix there I'm just going to choose randomly and then hit submit and the run installation and now the site title blog web 6 local site for example and your username your username will be a little bit um, difficult to guess then don't follow this example you can choose anything that it's hard to guess the password we're going to choose uh, any password that the strength indicator will be strong but be sure that you remember because I'm so forgetful so I'm going to uh, create the password now and if it's very weak you need to choose another password which is strong okay and email I'm going to choose uh, my email okay because this is local site I don't want search engine to index this site I untick it and install WordPress okay my username was Kimi web 6 and the password was this and login so there it is you have your site and if I look and that is the new site that only we can see it and to access it you have to remember type this one and then your folder uh, of your website that you install WordPress so that's it guys and play around with it and thank you for watching take care of yourself goodbye